start with the cutter you'd like to make a frame from, as well as a blank piece of paper. Trace the outline of the cutter with an edible marker. Take a photo of the outline drawing. I recommend lining up the little crosses in the camera app to make sure that you've got a perfectly straight down shot. I also turn on the flash to get the paper as bright as possible. Next, open the Canva app on your phone. Import the photo you just took. Click Edit Image, FX Effects on the bottom, BG Remover to remove the paper background. Now save to Canva, and we're going to come back to it on desktop. On the desktop site, open the image you just edited and crop as necessary. Now, on the upper right, use in a design. In the Canva design, I'm renaming the file to LOL frame. Next, I'm going to download this image as a PNG file with a transparent background. we're going to open up Inkscape, which is a free program to download. We're going to open up the PNG file we called LOL Frame. Click on the outline image until you can see the arrows all around it. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap. On the right rail, you'll see the Trace Bitmap options. I don't change any of the default settings and click Apply. Now I'm going to drag the image a bit to the side you can see there looks to be a duplicate. I'm going to undo that, and on the right rail in the Layers and Objects pane, you can see both the image and the path we just created from the step above. Click on the image 1, which is the original PNG, and delete it. Now we're left with just path 1. Go to Path, Fill Between Paths, so that the outline is filled in. Now in the Layers pane, you'll see Path 2 has just been created. Click and highlight both Path 1 and Path 2. Go to Path, Union. Now both paths have merged into Path 2. Next we need to fill the entire path with a background photo. Go to File, Import, and use any image that is a JPEG. It is important to note that it needs to be a JPG file. I have one with my logo pattern that I'm going to use. With the JPEG file, I'm going to resize it to cover the entire path 2. Next, we're going to bring path 2 in front of the JPEG, and I do that by dragging path 2 above the image. I'm going to select both path 2 and image 1 in the Layers pane. Go to Object, Clip, Set Clip. Now you can see the pattern image is filled into the path and we're almost done. Click File, Export. I'm going to export as a PDF. And we're going to rename it to LOL Frame. Export. And now we come back to Canva. Add a new page, and we're going to bring in the PDF we just created in Inkscape. So now we go from the outline above to the frame below. Click on the image, delete. Now all you have to do is test it. Bring in any photo from Canva. Drag it into the frame, and voila. You've just created a custom frame from a cookie cutter.